Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another Sneaker Talk video. The series where I cover the latest sneaker releases, I cover the latest sneaker news, and of course in the series, well, I just discuss anything to do with footwear. In today's video, I'm going to be covering an upcoming collaborative release. I'm going to be covering everything to do with the collaboration between Supreme New York and Nike as they are doing a capsule of court posits for week nine of Supreme's fall winter 2023 collection. Yeah, you heard me right, guys. We have an upcoming footwear collaboration for week nine of Supreme's fall winter 2023 collection. And on top of a footwear collaboration, we're also getting a clothing collaboration, which I'll cover in a streetwear talk video just after this one. But uh, it's a very heavy collaborative week for Supreme this week. Hopefully I can get it out all on time, fingers and toes crossed, because <laughs> I've struggled over the past couple of weeks. But uh, yeah, in today's video, we're gonna cover everything to do with the, uh, yeah, the sneaker collaboration for this week. We'll cover the release details, the editorial, all the individual images, and my thoughts and opinions on the collaboration as a whole. How we're going to cover all that is by using a Hype Beast article. We'll head on over to that article now and we'll start covering the release details for this week 9 collab. So here we are at the Hype Beast article that we're going to be using today guys. I'll link it down in the description section below if you want to check it out. We'll quickly cover these release details for this collaboration. So the Supreme Nike Court Posit Fall 2023 collaboration will see a release via Supreme's online and in-store locations October 19th, 11 a.m. EDT time in the United States, which looking at my watch, yep, that checks out. That is on the Thursday. And then of course, two days later, Japan and Korea will get that drop on October 21st. Uh, it says 11 a.m. Japanese standard time in Japan and Seoul. Um, Look, I don't know my time zones too well, but if Seoul lines up with the same time zone that Japan is in, fair enough. But I always take hesitation and say that it would be 11 a.m. Korean standard time, but uh, I'll have to go look into my time zones. But I'm sure everyone in Korea knows when it's dropping. I, I don't need to go into that any further. <laughs> but if you do have any further questions, comment section below and I'll try and help you out the best I can. But now that we've covered those release details, uh, when and where it's dropping, we unfortunately don't have the retail price, but uh, stay tuned for a drop list video covering week nine, and we'll go over the price there. Um, now that we know when and where, let's go up and check out the editorial and see a couple skaters or models rocking this collaboration. Okay, so we have a side-on photo showcasing uh, one of the first colors there, which looks to be a green color, a not solid green color, but more of like a green tint applied to the court posit here. Uh, we can see that it has a black midsole and looks like black outsole as well. They've kept it all in all pretty versatile, uh, pretty versatile um, compared to previous Supreme collaborations with Nike. I gotta say that the collaborations done under the CEO of Denim Tears, uh, yeah, He's always done really well. He's done really well with the Supreme Knight collaborations. It's actually a shame to see that he left because I actually have really enjoyed his Knight collaborations at his time at Supreme. But moving forward, we get another shot showcasing, uh, sh showcasing a mesh tongue with what looks to be another panel showcasing a Supreme box logo and a very what looks to be early 2000s Supreme logo off to the side here with a bit of detailing thrown in here as well. Um, yeah, it feels very, uh, very retro and very ancient, doesn't it, with this silhouette? It's, uh, <laughs> it's got a lot of grip though. You'll be able to uh, move around very easily in these and stay pretty steady uh, in them as well, but it's just a very interesting silhouette for a shoe. Looks like we've got a white on white version here. I, whenever you get funky with silhouettes, white on white can either be a big hit or a big miss. It can just look like some really weird, like, I don't even know how to put it. I kind of think like 
try hard futuristic shoes i don't even know how to put it <laughs> but it just looks weird i'll come up with it later i bet you once i'm done recording this video i'll be able to pinpoint why i think the all white um color scheme looks weird on a shoe with a crazy silhouette it'll come to me later we've got little hints of red here and there on various uh parts of it as well we can see these little dots along the back of it okay and then last but not least we have a black on black version look i do have to praise it though it is quite versatile in its color but um it's just such a funky silhouette which i think the styling they've done very well like all things considered right in this editorial i think how they've worn it is probably the best you could wear it personally i think i think that's just like i mean maybe you could change up the baggy pants for different baggy pants and a different upper but like silhouette wise for the outfit baggy pants slightly baggy uh sweater not too baggy i think it all kind of works but i think this is probably the best you're going to come up with realistically I, that's at least my thoughts on it but uh yeah that is all the images for the editorial let's go check out the individual images now and get a better look at all three of the colorways so here we are at the first colorway being showcased to us we have the um i want to call it like an agonizing green or like an like i don't even like a shiny green there's there's definitely better terminology to use to describe this type of green because it's not a solid color it's got this very like metallic tint to it metallic green might be onto something there but this is the first color for it black midsole black outsole little black detailing here and there um, we'll keep pressing forward we've got a supreme logo across the tongue as we saw in the editorial we've got of course co-branded inner soles very nice um, we've got actually that's quite surprising the supreme font is actually raised on the uh on the panel here i thought it was actually pressed in but it's raised which i think is a nice touch adds a little bit of texture to it um i mean it's nice to have a look at it top down as well but it's it's just a very interesting shoe isn't it i mean sure go for it do what you got to do comes in a black black on black with black detailing on it red box logo on the tongue get that little bit of contrast for you um i mean this is fine black on black very versatile and it's the white man it's the white on the crazy silhouette <laughs> um yeah i just how do i feel about them i mean it's like I, they've chosen very versatile colors so i gotta give them praise for that how do i feel about the actual silhouette it's just like okay it, it, it's a very specific demographic a very specific um outfit style for this type of piece and i just don't think a lot of people are going to be rocking it i maybe there's a lot of people out there that wear really baggy pants and just like a very simple outfit and this a shoe would probably complement that outfit but for most of us i feel like this isn't going to hit off in our wardrobes and for me definitely i wouldn't have much that i could wear with this and this would be a piece that i'd buy and i'd have to create the outfit around it it wouldn't work in my wardrobe seamlessly so i'm definitely giving it a miss plus they wouldn't make it in a size us 16 or 17 anyway um but yeah if i had to give it a rating it's like a four out of ten five out of ten because of the versatile color offerings but i'm not super blown away by the silhouette choice that they did for this one but each to their own i suppose but i'd love to hear your guys takes on it like is this a big hit for you is this a big miss for you maybe this was your like favorite shoe of all time way back in the day and having supreme bring it back for a collaboration is like your dream come true i don't know if there's going to be anyone in that comment section below saying that but I've, i i can be proven wrong <laughs> uh yeah let me know how you feel about this one guys i feel like most of us are going to be giving it a miss but let me know what you got to say about it down in that comment section below
Well, that is everything I got to say, guys, about the Supreme Nike Court Posit. We covered everything to do with it. We covered the release details. It's dropping on the 19th or 21st of October, depending on your region. We covered the editorial. We covered the individual images of it. I think it's okay, but like it's it's so niche in its market it's so niche in its audience i just don't think it's going to be a huge hit because like only certain people can rock it that have that type of uh style for it but um each to their own maybe some of you will really get around it maybe some of you won't uh i'd love to hear if you are going to pick it up from week nine which color are you going for? I feel like most of us would probably go for the black on black, but maybe some of you would go for the green. I feel like everyone's going to be avoiding the white though. Am I right in that call? <laughs> I just don't think many people are going to pick up a white shoe that looks like that. But uh, yeah, I'd love to hear if you are picking it up and what color you're going to be picking up down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want me to keep covering upcoming sneaker collaborations, upcoming sneaker releases, you got to give me the three indicators I always ask you for, which is a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below. And if you haven't already, the best indicator you can give me is to subscribe to the channel. Uh, as mentioned in previous uploads, we're trying to hit the subscriber milestone of 3,725 subscribers before the end of October. Hopefully, with your guys' continuous support, we can reach that milestone before the end of the month. But that is everything I got to say about the collab, guys. I do wish you the best of luck if you are going for one of these pieces from the collab. I hope you managed to pick up one of the colorways or the colorway of your choosing in the size that you want it in. But until the next Supreme video, until the next Nike video, until the next Sneaker Talk video in general, I'll catch you later.